Hey Deckers, Remnant 2 got a potato patch, I mean a new performance patch. Yes, it really does have a potato mode now. However, with it on, with no shadows at all, which looks really bizarre, it still doesn't really hold over 30 frames per second very stably without some help from FSR or XESS, as you'll see in some gameplay in a minute. But as you just saw without shadows, it does look very bizarre. And if I just put shadows back on low, and with no FSR or XCSS, it really struggles, even just standing pretty much still. The FSR mode on, it's still version 1. Again, looks okay if you stand still, but as soon as you start moving that FSR quality mode, even on the highest quality, looks absolutely awful as you're moving around. And the same on the Steam Deck screen. Unfortunately, it's just absolutely hideous. So, I will show you in-game a little bit more of that, but Intel XESS is still the better version here. And if I put everything back to low, and the XESS quality as we did before in our recommended settings. It's pretty much the same. It's a little bit more stable, less input latency as we're moving around. But when we go into our favorite maps, it still dips under the 30 frames per second mark occasionally. It's still a little bit underperforming on the frames per second. It does hold over 30 much more of the time now. However, it does still dip under that 30 very slightly. So low mode is still uh, a good way to be playing this but you will still get those dips. Now, if you do switch to the new potato mode, it is just those shadows that are bringing things down. So even with XESS on quality, potato mode with low shadows, we get pretty much the same performance as everything on low. So this map doesn't have any foliage and other bits and pieces. So really it is only gonna be the shadows that are gonna make the difference as there are a lot of them in this map, which makes turning off the shadows all the more painful because it completely changes the look and feel of this map. But with Intel XCSS on quality mode on full potato, it does actually run incredibly well. It just looks really bizarre to me. Completely changes the look and feel of the game, but it does make it playable and stable over 30 frames per second. But you will still need one of those XESS modes. So quality definitely pushes it into the mid 30 range. So before we go on to the ultra quality XESS, if I put the FSR quality mode on, Keeping the low shadows and everything else on potato mode, you can see we still get the absolutely awful pixelation on the character and it doesn't even hold 30 frames per second. So you can move this down to balance or performance, but then it's just going to look even worse and probably still won't stay over that 30 frames per second. Full potato mode though with ultra quality XESS still barely holds 30 frames per second but does look slightly better. Though I still just can't get past this map without any shadows at all. I'm assuming that on some of the other maps, I know there's a few that are much more foliage heavy, as well as some that also have quite a lot of terrain. Then the other settings will take effect a little bit more on those, having them on or off. So if you can get by without load of the detail, Mimic playing this on the Switch, then Remnant 2 is now playable on the Steam Deck with the new potato mode and XESS on at least quality. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving back into this one or whether you're just going to give up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.